Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Stop paying people to do stuff in your house and you can do it. Now granted, if you got an apartment building, you usually have a maintenance man or some sort of guy that comes along and fixes things for you. You don't have to pay it, it's part of your rent. Okay, cool. But if you have a condo, you have a house, you have a trailer and you own it or you're trying to own it and you're paying the monthly bills, then stop paying people to come fix your stuff for you because you can do it yourself and you can save yourself time from work, right? Because somebody got to be home and the money. Okay, the most expensive thing in today's market of home fixers and carpenters and all these other sorts of people is the the labor. It's the labor. It's not the parts. Go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, and you'll see for yourself. It's not the parts. It's the labor. It's the guy that's actually coming out to feed his family in order to charge you money. <laughs> okay, that's basically what it is. He has the know-how, he has the skills, but there's this thing called DIY, do it yourself. And there are so many people on YouTube, okay, on DIY Network, on DIY website, on Facebook, and other video platforms to show you how to, to fix stuff yourself to fix it yourself. To, I remember my house in Texas, just to give an example, just to give an example. And we wanted recessed lighting. So our house that was smaller had all the fixings. I'm like, hey, I can do the recessed lighting. Oh, you never did recessed lighting. If I can read, I can do it. Now granted, I believe, now this may be the tomfoolery in me, I believe anything that I can actually read and understand, I can actually do. And for the most part, that's been true. And for some of you who are really handy, the things I'm about to name, you're gonna say, hey, that's really, really easy. But you'd be amazed how many of you actually pay people. I did my own recess lighting. I went and I used a, a drywall cutting knife and I put those recess lighting in with those light saving bulbs at the time, energy saving bulbs. Now they're LED. Then, I painted some of my rooms. Okay, I did that too. And guess what else I did recently? Well, not recently, it's been some years. <laughs> I changed, I put a garbage disposal under the sink. Yeah, I looked at a video and the video was similar to the product I had, but the concept was still the same and some of the procedures were still the same and then the rest I just figured it out. And I'm not really that smart of a guy. Some people say I'm really smart. Um, Oh, I'm okay. I can read. I got a brain. I use it. That's the extent of my knowledge. I have a brain. I use it. So this is my thing. There's a lot of things you can do that you don't have to pay somebody to come do it for you. It's just going to take a little bit of your time, some research and applying what you learn from the research. Now, granny, if you tear everything all up, then go get the contractor. Go get the carpenter to come fix whatever you broke and do the original job you intended for, right? But at least try because once you accomplish it, once you finish it, you have learned a valuable skill from that day forth. Now somebody say, hey man, can you help me put a recess light in? I got you, dog, because I know exactly what I'm doing. Hey man, can you help me put this garbage disposal in? I got you, bruh, because I know exactly what I'm doing. Hey, man, I'm going to give you $100. Come help me paint this because the other guy charged me 1000 Give me 150 bruh. <laughs> but I got you, dog. I'm on my way. Or whatever the case might be. Or if it's for yourself. Just saying. Why well, pay somebody <laughs> when you can do it yourself? I'm out.